every teacher's least favorite question is when a student asks, well, when will I use this in the real world? We don't really ask that a lot in STEM because a lot of times we're doing things that the real world could use and could be really beneficial. The whole goal of the STEM Academy is just to challenge people to do something out of the ordinary and to use their knowledge from the class to do it. So instead of sitting down and taking a test, you're creating something or solving a problem. So what you would do is you would put ice in the bottom of this and this fan would blow air on it and it would come out of the pipe. And the fan is powered through a battery which is charged through a solar panel. Um, the solar panel also has the capability of charging a phone. I have a strong fear of having a set routine. So a lot of days I'll just sit down and think of like, how I want my house to look and what my career wants to be and where I want to be in 10 years from now. And I think that's what motivates me so well is just sitting there and planning for a future. Get one like Taylor and you're like, oh my God, can I clone you and keep you, you know, through my career because it's like, okay, I have to challenge this child. And she doesn't want anything given to her easily. She wants to work for it. Second week of school, she told me that I had to create a emergency shelter that could sleep four people in a natural disaster, and we had to actually sleep in it overnight. That's just kind of what STEM is. Each project, you think you have it down pat, and then you realize you still have to use that creative thinking to make something even better. She got hooked, you know, seeing how she can produce something that will impact society, and it's interesting how she could bring students from different backgrounds that normally don't speak to each other together to kind of pull their resources and do what needs to get done to produce the best product and the best presentation at the end. I remember taking a group that she was in down to the middle school and they observed how she presented. I remember hearing the students walking away saying, we got to do that. She's leaving an impact and becoming a role model. My goal after high school is to get my bachelor's in nursing and then pursue um, a career in trauma nursing. How are you today? I'm good. How are I'm you? I'm Taylor. I'm Christina. I'm going to take care of you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. My time in STEM has taught me different ways to achieve the end goal, and it's not always about how you get to the end goal. It just means that you get to your goal, and that's going to really help me in my career path, especially in trauma, because in trauma you may not always have all the materials you need, or you may not have to do things the conventional way, since so that's just taught me to use other resources and do whatever you have to do to meet that end goal. She's not going to stop at just, okay, I accomplished nurse practitioner and now I'm happy I got this job and I'm going to stop. I see her as wanting to keep on going and growing and always busy doing, you know, more. And Taylor has helped us communicate our message of what we're trying to do here to give students the opportunities that they normally wouldn't receive in a traditional setting as far as the instruction or the opportunities to build their skills. You know, the teachers do a great job of reinforcing those expectations so that, you know, the students like Taylor, when they leave, they say, you know what, those four years were very productive and I'm ready now.